and that um, uh, he could not give it to me. And later he changed his mind before he left office, said he would cooperate. He said he'd have the information to me and it never showed up. And that's where I am today. So I had to start with something, Supervisor Colfax. One of the things I did do, and, and Scott Miller alluded to it, is I did take South Coast. I do do most of the hauling there. I know probably what they make in salary. And I showed a pro forma profit and loss statement, pretty detailed of all the, all the deals. It would lower the rate, it increased the hours of operation, and we still make a profit. No subsidy, nothing. So I think we could do that with the other sites. I don't know what Boonville, I don't service Boonville, so I don't know what that is. So those kind of information, as Emmett is asking the board to look at, is to get us in the room, we can get that information, we can come back with a more detailed report. Will it, will it be better? We don't know. Let's look at it. My opinion, it will. I just showed one, uh, one option with South Coast where it could. So enough of that. I just want a few things that did bother me is this subsidy thing. Um, I want to start with Westport. It's in your district. We, uh, we operate that without a subsidy. It's a buyback recycling center. People bring us garbage. No subsidy from the county. We have one side operator there. Uh, we only get about 10, 15 customers a day, if that, but no subsidy. Laytonville. Johnny, you brought up the fact that they, they closed the gate 12 years ago or whenever they closed the landfill. Those people from Laytonville had to drive all the way to the Willis landfill to get rid of garbage. John came to me and asked if we could put a, 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 a recycling center transfer station on, on property. That $20 subsidy pays for our improvements. We had to go in and spend $40,000 of our own money to improve that site. That's not a subsidy, that's paying back a private operator that stepped up and took care of a problem for the Laytonville residents. The same thing with Covalo. Covalo, we started out 12 years ago with a, with a pilot privatization. The county was subsidizing that site $2,500 a month. We took that subsidy and said we keep, keep the rates as they were. We wanted to lower that subsidy, but we couldn't raise the gate fees because the board wanted to keep the rates at $16 a cubic yard. Today, the rates for all transfer stations are at 20. If we were $4 more a, a cubic yard, our subsidy would be a lot less. So we, we deliberately kept that out. It is a difficult place. We have illegal dumping every day. The solid waste department doesn't hear about it. We have fences cut. We have bullet holes in our equipment. Uh, we deal with it. That's just part of it. But we're subsidizing all that really through our rates where nobody knows about it. We're subsidizing Laytonville. We're subsidizing Westport. And to some extent, we subsidize our recycling centers in, in Wallala. It's all part of the whole program. Now, I'm not asking for $400,000 in subsidies here today or tomorrow. That, that's bogus to use Covalo to extrapolate what these other sites would be. That's not what we're talking about. I really do believe, supervisors, we can, we can lower costs for the county. How much? Just give me the information and let you know. But no one's losing a job. The person that, w that we took over in Covalo worked for us for five years. A county employee did a good job. Unfortunately, mo employees move on doing different things. But he did a good job for us. He got an extra increase in pay. He got benefits because it would turn out to be a full-time job. That's what we're proposing to do for the sites that we can do. Our proposal for South Coast showed that. The site attendant there increased hours, which means now they, 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 they qualify for our benefits. They have retirement, vacation, health, all those kinds of things. That's a good thing, and we still make a profit. So please, if you will, direct staff to work with us, give us the numbers we need. We'll come back with a more detailed proposal on what we can save and let the chips go where they may. And I believe if this board uh, directs to negotiate with us, I think, the, I think you can also, the Salt Waste Division can, can negotiate with waste management too for those particular sites. Thanks. Questions of Mr. Ward or uh, Mr. Jones from the, from the board? Please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, for Mr. Ward, um, what, no mention, or I'm, I'm looking here, maybe there was, I read this a few evenings ago. Um, Boonville and Potter Valley, what, I mean, I, I know you've, you've got Westport mentioned here, you have Covalo mentioned, you have Laytonville, but what about, mm -hmm. what about 
that. I mean, you're down on the south coast. You're at the farthest uh, parameters of the county, I think, in the south coast area. So would you not be interested in Boonville and Potter Valley? The reason I, I, I stated, I wanted, I wanted to keep the transfer stations within the franchise a areas. The reason we're interested in South Coast and Boonville is because those lie within our franchise area. The other three sites lie within waste management areas. So that if some reason we need to support those facilities down the road with rates, the rate, they're receiving rate income from within their franchise agreement to support those facilities within their franchise agreement. I am as a as a as it showed earlier that they're receiving 75% of the waste stream, we're receiving only 25%, but that's the way it goes. Privatization is not for me to get rich or take over the whole thing. Privatization here is to, is to put the best hauler in that area and work it. We have experience, we've been doing it. We step up to the plate and take care of it, and I know waste management can too if it works out. But that's the reason why um, Supervisor Smith we wanted to keep it within those franchise areas and eventually maybe roll them into our franchise as part of that as part of that uh, agreement. Okay. Others on the board? Okay. Um, Thank you. Supervisor Chairman, Prince. To move this along, uh, I think Gimmick's recommendation is fine. I'd like to, I, I really believe that we need to include waste management, as Mr. Ward just said, you know, because uh, they have French or transportations in their area. So, uh, I think it's time to, you know, they've indicated that, you know, whatever we decide is fine, but I think that, that uh, if we do put this into some sort of an ad hoc committee or something, that we need to include waste management in, in the discussions. Okay. Um, so what, what I'm hearing is uh, uh, possibly looking at a more complete analysis. Um, unless I'm totally out to lunch here, um, we don't have a complete picture here to, to draw a, a conclusion, either good, bad, or indifferent. Um, so number one, and what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, is we need more information to be able to come back and make a decision uh, with dollars and cents, et cetera, et cetera, um, and uh, see if there's a possibility of, of saving the county money. Um, it's been stated that we are facing some dire times. We have to be looking outside the box. Um, but this is such an incomplete situation here, I can't make a decision one way or the other. So, um, to the CEO. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You know, there's a, a couple of things during the course of the discussion, as, as um, Jerry talked earlier about access to information. Uh, we're not set up in the government process to respond to everybody that comes through the door and wants information of a lengthy nature. We provide a certain amount of detail. Um, we do have ability through the Public Record Act to give people additional information. It's one of the unfortunate parts about the process that we have that unless we, we being our office or a department, receives board direction to pursue a particular project, we can't necessarily devote to staff time when somebody walks in the door and says, I'd like complete access to all of your books. That's an unfortunate part of what we do. That being said, we also can't just pick and choose who we would like to do business with. Uh, the most appropriate way to tackle projects of this nature is you direct county staff to prepare a request for proposal. That request for proposal could involve um, a, uh, a bid from DOT, so you would uh, run that process probably through the General Services Agency. We would develop a request for proposals and let waste management and, and solid waste of Willits and DOT and everybody input into the process. 